In this video, we are going to look at how to reference web pages, including pages from news websites, using APA 7th referencing style. The Web Resources tab of the UON APA 7th style guide has more details about online resource types. You can find it from the library homepage. There are numerous resource types that can be found online and they each have different referencing formats. So firstly, it is important to identify the type of online resource that you are using. When looking at online material, make sure that it does not fit into any other resource type, such as journal, conference proceeding, blog, online newspaper, etc., before referencing as a web page. There are some general rules for referencing online resources in APA. You should always include an access URL unless the material has a DOI, and URL and DOI hyperlinks should be live if the work is to be published or read online. This will allow the reader to go directly to the content. Hyperlinks can be displayed in the default settings of your word processor, underlined with blue text, or in plain text. There are two aspects to APA referencing short in-text citations, and a citation with the full details in the reference list. When referencing, the details are very important. Remember that you need to take care with punctuation, italics, and capitalization. Now we are going to look at how to reference a few different types of web pages. The web page reference is used for a specific web page, not a whole website. Therefore, if you need to reference multiple pages from a website, you will need to create a separate reference for each. The first type of resource we are going to look at is a web page authored by a person or multiple people. When the authors of the material on a web page are named, they should be listed. The template for the reference is as follows. There is the author's surname followed by their initial, then the date, for websites, the date you need is the posting date. The copyright date from a repeated web page footer is not acceptable to use. You should include the month and day if it is available. Notice that for websites, it is the title of the page that is in italics. The title should also be in sentence case. Then there is the title of the website followed by the URL. Notice that you do not need to use a full stop at the end of the URL. APA style also requires a hanging indent. On a PC, you can get this by using the keyboard shortcut, Control T. Next are the in-text citations. There are two types of in-text citations, parenthetical, which include the author's surname and the year, while in narrative citations, the author's name is incorporated into the text. Here is an example of a web page with a named author. This web page has multiple authors. Note the use of the ampersand. Then there is the posting date. The web page title is in italics and in sentence case with only the first letter capitalized, followed by the name of the website and the access URL. Here are the corresponding in-text citations. The in-text reference requires the author's surname and the year. You do not need to add the month and day. For a resource with three or more authors, you can use the first author's name plus et al. The next type of reference is a web page with a corporate author. If there are no named authors, use the name of the organization. If the author and the name of the website are the same, leave out the name of the website to avoid repetition. The name of the corporate author is also used in the in-text referencing. Here is an example of a web page from the Australian Curriculum website. The page is written by the Australian Curriculum Assessment and Reporting Authority. Because the corporate author's name and the name of the website are different, both these pieces of information need to be included in the reference. If the publication date is not available, use ND, which stands for no date. If the corporate author's name is known by an acronym, you can define the abbreviation the first time that you cite the resource in text. In subsequent in text citations, you can then use the acronym. The next resource type is a web page on a news website. A web page on a news website is different to an article in an online newspaper. 
If you need to reference an online newspaper article, please see the UON APA 7th Guide or the online resources APA referencing video. Here is an example from the ABC News website. It was written by Craig Allen and posted on the 21st of December 2020. Here are the corresponding in-text citations. For more help with APA referencing, see the online guide or ask the library.